Still on with stories from West Asia. Well, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken shared some tough words with top Israeli officials on Tuesday as he made his fifth crisis visit to the nation since the war broke out with the militant group Hamas. Amidst a mounting pressure on the Biden administration to prevent the rising death toll in Gaza and the war from spilling over. The top U.S. diplomat urged Israel, and I'm quoting here, make hard decisions and made a clear call to the Israeli government to reduce civilian harm and casualties. We know that facing an enemy that embeds itself among civilians, who hides in and fires from schools, from hospitals, makes this incredibly challenging. But the daily toll on civilians in Gaza, particularly on children, is far too high. In today's meetings, I was also uh, crystal clear. Palestinian civilians must be able to return home as soon as conditions allow. They must not be pressed to leave Gaza. These remarks were made during a press conference in Tel Aviv, which Netanyahu did not attend. While the Israeli Prime Minister's office also did not release a readout after the long meeting with the top U.S. official, as it generally does. The move signals that the talks were not easy this time. Though Blinken reaffirmed U.S.'s unwavering support for Israel and rejected speculations of an immediate ceasefire. He made some of his strongest direct remarks by asking Israel to not take steps which hinders Palestinians' ability to govern themselves. Israel must, be, uh, must stop taking steps that undercut Palestinians' ability to govern themselves effectively. Extremist settler violence carried out with impunity, settlement expansion, demolitions, evictions, all make it harder, not easier, for Israel to achieve lasting peace and security. Israel has so far ruled out calls to allow the internationally recognized Palestinian Authority to govern both Gaza and the West Bank. Blinken, who visited Saudi Arabia, UAE and Qatar prior to his stop in Israel, has said that the Arab leaders are ready to live with and integrate Israel in the region in a way that everyone feels secure. These words signal that the Arab-Israeli normalization talks might not be off the table. However, Blinken added that only through a regional approach that includes a pathway to a Palestinian state, this goal could be achieved. While tense talks were going on in Tel Aviv, many demonstrators took to the streets calling for a ceasefire in Gaza to allow the release of hostages. Out of 250 hostages that Hamas took on October 7th, Israel says 132 of them remain captive, including at least 25 who are believed to have been killed.